Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can animate photographs and share them on social media so that they look a little more lively and fun. All of these animated photos have been created using the app Animatic, which is the one that we're going to be using today. And the image that I'm gonna teach you how I created is this one. Ready? Let's start. So this is the first thing you'll see when you open Animatic and as you can see I have some projects here. These ones are the ones that just came with the app. They are examples on the things you can do with this app. You can open them and look at them if you want. You can also click on edit and you'll see how the animation was actually created. So this gives you a great example of how the app works. Okay, click on done to get out and go back to your library. Back. And then as you can see this last project on the top here is one that I just created. I'm going to create a new project so to do that you tap on this plus sign on the top right and this is what a brand new project looks like. So the way that this app works is it creates animations by allowing you to create images frame by frame and at the top here is where you'll have all of the frames that you're gonna use to create your animation. Right now there's only one white square, so that means that I only have one frame and that white square is exactly what I have here, which is nothing, it's a blank page. Now at the bottom here you'll have all of the tools available that you can use in order to create your drawings and add them to each of the frames. And you can just explore them, they are really realistic and fun to play with. This first one looks like an actual crayon and you have the tool on this side and you have the color options here so you have some like preset colors so if you tap on one of these little circles you'll select a different color and you can also go to this circle at the bottom right here and then choose any other custom color that you want you have different ways you have your grid so you have some preset colors to choose from here you have the spectrum which you can pick a ton more uh, color options here and you have your sliders and then here you would be able to enter a specific hex color code in case that you know it if you want to use a color in particular. So I recommend that you just pick a tool and play around with it so you can see what it can do. You can also tap on the tool and you'll have different sizes. This one on the right is the largest one and as you can see the width of the stroke is a little bit thicker. So that's our crayon and then you have like a pencil you have a marker, this is like a color pencil, you can zoom in, you just pinch in and you can see in more detail, you have this like chalk highlighter, another type of marker. This following icon is the background color, so if you tap there you can just pick any color and the background will become that color. If you change your mind and you no longer want a background, you just go and tap on this top left corner where you have the color white and then the background will go back to white. Another important tool of course is your eraser. It's actually the first one here on the left. And with that you can of course erase anything you have drawn. And if you tap there again, you can choose the size of the eraser from bigger to smaller. So I'm just going to delete everything I created so that I have a white frame again. And the last icon here, your images menu, that's where you will be able to select photos that you have previously saved on your photos app and that you can bring into Animatic. So just scroll and find the photo that you want to use. And then here you have to choose how you want the photo to be cropped. Just move it with your finger up or down, something like that. That's fine for mine. Click on choose. And then the image has been added to your canvas or to your frame. So what I'm going to do now is I want to have this image on every frame. So the easiest way to do that so I don't have to keep importing my image is I'm just going to tap on my first and only frame and click on where it says duplicate. And that's going to create an exact copy of that same frame. And for this animation in particular, I want a total of eight frames. So I'm just going to keep duplicating them until I have eight of them. Okay, now that I have my eight frames, I will start with my animation. Okay, so I'm going to pick my crayon and I want a red color, which I have a red right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to see better. And my first first item is going to be a heart somewhere here. Okay, then I'm gonna move on to my second frame and that's just the very next frame here. 
Now the heart that I drew disappeared because this is a brand new frame and it needs to have its own elements but I'm able to see what I drew in the previous frame. This current frame is a little bit see-through so I can see what I've done previously, okay? So I can see where my heart was and now I'm gonna draw over it again because I want this heart to continue to be here but by drawing it again instead of just duplicating the previous frame that already had the heart that's gonna give the image a little effect like it's moving you'll see as we move along but I like the way it looks another thing I'd like to mention is you can switch between your current drawing tool and the eraser just by double tapping on the Apple pencil because here as you can see I accidentally drew some extra dots so I just quickly switch between my crayon and my eraser okay so this is frame number two I just redrew the heart that I had already and I'm going to draw a second heart a little bit higher and to the right then I'm gonna move on to my frame number three and I want to draw again the hearts that I had already again they don't have to be exact and that's actually gonna give it a little bit more movement and interest I feel so just draw these again and I want the third heart up here okay move on to the next frame and then I want the same hearts you can draw them a little bit smaller or bigger okay and this time I'm gonna make a fourth and last heart up here now I can see how my animation is looking by dragging on my frames so I just slide this to the right or left so that I can see the animation come to life okay so here I have one heart two hearts three hearts and four hearts and as you can see it looks like they're like moving or shaking a little bit okay I like that effect a lot Okay, so now that I have my hearts appearing here, I want them to start disappearing. So I'm gonna move on to my next frame. This time I want the bottom heart to be gone, so that means I need to redraw the top three hearts. So I'm just gonna go and do that. So I keep these three, but I no longer draw the first one. And again, I made a mistake here, so I just erase it. And I move on to my next frame, where I want to also remove the second heart so I just draw the top two this time move on to the next frame and this time I only need this top heart because all of the others have disappeared I'm gonna move back just to see what it's looking like okay so here I have my hearts appearing and disappearing very simple I want to add a few more details to my frame so I'm gonna go back to my very first frame I'm just gonna add a couple of dots to my hearts as they appear just random dots it's gonna look cute you'll see just like this and when they start disappearing I want to add some like effect lines like it just popped so for those I'm gonna make them a little bit uh, bigger instead of dots I'm gonna draw like short lines like this move on to the next frame and then do the same for the following heart that has just disappeared okay next frame and the last heart that just popped is right here and I'm gonna play it and now as you can see it looks like the hearts popped now we can take a look at what the animation actually looks like once it's finished so click on done and then the animation automatically starts playing and you do have a slider here to choose how fast or slow you want it to play and for this one we can go to like a six or seven somewhere there wherever you feel it looks good then you are going to tap on where it says video and that will basically turn this animation into a video that you can then save to your photos app and then post it on social media after saving i can open my photos app and i will have my animated photograph ready to upload now you're ready to go to your social media and share your animated photo. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I will have a few others showing you how to create other types of animations using Animatic. This is a great app. It's really easy and simple to use. So I hope that you like this video, that you learned something new. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do it. And click on the bell so you know when there's a new video out. I'm always sharing fun, useful and creative tips and tricks that you can use on iPad. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.